So the end result for the Arduino shield will be this. Here is this is a prototype that I made uh, with etching, and when I plug in the power source, you can see you can see the LEDs will start to go their pattern. In this video, we will create a 4x4 LED matrix that can be controlled by Arduino code. We will start out by drawing a simple block diagram of our circuit to get an overview, either by hand or in a drawing software, but in this example I'm using Inkscape, which is a free software. So we have the Arduino, let's draw an Arduino there, let's make it uh, blue so it looks like an Arduino and we can also label it um, okay let's see let's try again label it Arduino um, and then I'll move it down here and I'll draw the we have the 4x4 LED matrix. Let's draw this one here. Let's make that one green. And uh, insert a label 4x4 LED matrix. And we would also need a power source. I'll just draw by freehand, it will be connected to the Arduino. There we go. And, uh, yeah, for example, a socket uh, plug. Yeah, it, <laughs> that's just a very simple drawing, but uh, you see the picture here. Uh, let's just type power source. Okay, so this is a very simple circuit, so drawing a block diagram might not be necessary. But I think it's a really good way to just get an overview of what you are dealing with, and it only takes a few seconds, so I think it's worth it. And maybe we should also have some, well, some connection between that, just to indicate that these two are connected. Okay, so now this is what we're dealing with, an Arduino, and we need a 4x4 LED matrix, and we need a power source. Okay, we'll start with downloading the uh, Eagle library from SparkFun. It is located at github.com slash sparkfun. So let's go here. And if we scroll down, we can find the SparkFun Eagle libraries. This is for Eagle 6.0 and uh, later. Uh, I'm using the Eagle 5 version, so I'm going to go a little bit further down and find the old SparkFun Eagle library. I'll click on that one and then I'll find sparkfun.lbr and I'll do a right click, save link as. I'll save the file in my uh, custom library folder. And now I'll go into Eagle, I check directories, and then I will see that the uh, uh, directory where I put the library is uh, specified then I can go into the library folder and here I have the SparkFun library so we're ready to go so I'm going to go ahead and create a new project so I'll click on projects and eagle folder right click and then new project I'll type in a name Arduino Shield webinar then I'll choose new schematic. 
I, I, I always start with saving my schematic so that I'll, I'll give it a name and then I'll save it so that I'll have it for later. Okay, then I'll go to add and we're going to add some components. So we'll, let's find the Sparkfun library and from here we can find the Arduino shield. Uh, they have already made a component for it so that we don't have to do that. So I'll choose the first one. There's different types there but the first one is good so I'll choose that one and put it in my schematic. So next we're going to add some LEDs. So we'll, let's scroll down to LED and we'll, I want to find the 5 millimeter LEDs. So here we have them and let's add 16 LEDs. There we go, now it looks a bit better. And now uh, the last thing we need is uh, four resistors. So let's scroll down to the resistor library in Spark, uh, the resistor folder under SparkFun, and then choose one of the axial resistors. Um, I'm going to choose the 0 0.4 uh, 0 0.4 resistor because that's a good size I just know from before. All right. So the next thing we'll do is to add uh, connections between the components. So I'll choose the net tool, and then I'll start drawing uh, connections between the components. It's important to use the net tool and not the wire tool. The wire tool looks like it does the job, but uh, it doesn't create the green dots uh, automatically. So it looks like it's connected, but it's not. So always use the net command. So put up the grid here. Resistors goes down to ground, and then we'll add four connections on t above the resistors to be able to turn off the LEDs. Choose the name command and then type in the name row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, etc. Then we'll do the same thing with the columns call 1, call 2, call 3, call 4. And then we need to connect these to the Arduino. <laughs> so let's add and then yeah and also name the ground so let's add uh, some wires I'll just start with D2 then I have RX and TX uh, available if I want to use them at the later stage I'll add eight wires here then uh, I'll put the names on all the wires oh a little mistake there let's put all the names on the wires and then we'll change the names so that we'll connect it to each of the rows and columns so it's just an, just by naming the wire just by naming a wire the same as another wire we'll connect them so when I type in row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4 here it will be connected to row 1, two, row 2, row 3, row 4 on the LED matrix. Um, and the last thing we need to do is to add the ground connection to the shield. So we'll uh, put some wires here 
and then we'll change the name to ground and we'll and then put up a label and then we'll save it so I'm going to add some uh, values to the resistors I want 200 ohms resistors so I'll use the value tool and then click on all the four resistors and type in 200 And the last thing we need to do is to do an electrical rule check. So here we see that we got uh, 16 different warnings. It says that the LED has no value, but LEDs don't need a value. So just I'll just click approve on all of them, and uh, then it's okay. 